students go through a lot from day to day. Some are prone to acting out or disrupting class. But instead of a trip to the principal's office, the Shelby County School District hopes students can reset their behavior with a trip to a room that promotes calming and de-escalation techniques. As Local 24's Jalen Socek shows us, the program will expand starting this fall. Concerns are that students that get suspended lose out on that valuable learning time and necessarily it doesn't help them work out the issue that led to the behavior in the first place. So SES says that these reset rooms can help students work on those issues while also keeping them in the classroom. While it looks like a typical classroom, this reset room at Kirby High School is where students first go after an outburst or disruption, hopefully saving them from a trip to the office of Principal Dr. Sivan Hunter. Here's a place where students can come and de-escalate and uh, can resolve whatever issues they had, whether it was an outburst or nearly a fight or uh, being upset about a grade or whatever it is. A reset teaching assistant is assigned to each room to help students dealing with trauma and to teach them de-escalation techniques. We do what we can to help them to get back into class, to have the right mindset and be ready to uh, grow and learn. The district launched the reset rooms in the fall of 2019 at 30 schools as an effort to reduce suspensions. This upcoming school year is going nearly district wide with 127 reset rooms. This is not a punitive environment. It's a restorative environment. So a student may have may have actually committed some type of infraction that uh, prior to us having this space would have landed the child in the principal's office and possibly even suspended from school. The district says during that first year, suspensions fell nearly 6%. Dr. Angela Hargrave, executive director of the Student Equity Enrollment Discipline Office, says the rooms also helped identify students who needed the extra intervention support. Schools are here to educate children and provide academic instruction. We can't do that if the students are not present for class and not able to attend to class. Principal Hunter says is helping his students return to the classroom quicker and hopefully helping them outside of the classroom too with improved communication and decision making skills. In that first year, SCS said more than 1400 students were redirected to those reset rooms in those 30 schools. They hope the number of suspensions continue to fall when they go district wide in the fall. Reporting from SES, Jalen Sochak, Local 24 News.